If there's anything that doing this series has taught me is that Spinosaurus shows up a lot in media. Like way more than I actually kind of expected. And so this is part three of that. We are looking at more Spinosauruses in media. And as promised, we are primarily focusing on video game Spinosauruses, which there's a lot of those too. Uh, we'll mainly be focusing on like actual like PC or console games rather than kind of uh, dipping our toes into the apps like Jurassic World Alive um, and all of that. And I'll be staying away from Evolution 2 because I've already talked about the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus and that one is of course modeled after that. But let's get right into it. We will start this list off with the Primal Carnage Spinosaurus. Primal Carnage is a very fun game. Um, it's this kind of game where you're divided into two teams and it's dinosaurs versus humans. Like, what's not fun about that? And of course you would have the option to play with the Spinosaurus look. And it looks exactly how you'd expect a Spinosaurus to look, especially for this game and for this time. It's very tall and like very elongated in a lot of its features, and its mouth is definitely full of teeth. Um, it's a very cool design. Uh, the sail definitely stands out, especially with the kind of markings that it has adorned on, on it, like kind of going up. There's a really cool animation somewhere on YouTube where it fights the, the Primal Carnage T-Rex, and that's a, that's a very cool watch. It'll probably be linked in the description. Next up, we will take a look at the Ark Spinosaurus. Now, Ark is a fun game, not one that I get into because I am terrible at the game. Like, no matter how many tutorials I watch, I just simply cannot get good at the game. But its Spinosaurus does have a very cool design. Um, we don't really see too many quadrupedal Spinosauruses in, in media, even in documentaries or anything like that. I think we've only spoken of, of two, really. And this one is a quadrupedal Spinosaurus, but this one is different than the other two that we've seen before. Uh, primarily with the fact that it actually walks on its palms rather than on its knuckles. Um, it definitely looks very interesting, especially with all of the spikes and kind of like extra sails that it has on its tail and its neck and head. It's a very cool design, and as per usual, it has the basic Spinosaurus skull shape, so it definitely does match up with our idea of Spinosaurus, and it definitely fits the style of the game. Like, Ark really has this kind of, I want to say like fantasy element to it, um, and this Spinosaurus definitely fits that that with, in which they're going with their world. So it looks very cool. Next, and this one is a little bit lesser known, there is Jurassic the Hunted. Um, I remember watching a playthrough of this a very long time ago, and the Spinosaurus, of course, stuck out to me. It reminds me a lot of the Monsters Resurrected Spinosaurus in its overall design with the extra spikes and the very rugged look to it. And it definitely has some gnarly teeth. This is one of the few Spinosauruses where the skull, and particularly the snout, doesn't necessarily match up with our idea. But I definitely don't think that's what that game was going for. Um, so it, they definitely have a very stylized Spinosaurus, and it looks, looks awesome because of that. It also fights a T-Rex, because... You know. So how many of you played Carnivores? I played it on my phone. I played Carnivores HD. And I absolutely love this game. It's... A classic um, and I, I put so many hours into it it also had a Spinosaurus but there's one big catch with the Spinosaurus it's very small like it's very unique because of that it, it also has a lot of very robust features like a more robust snout um, a shorter tail um, and decently long legs as well and a very small sail it actually looks a lot like the um, uh, the Jurassic World Evolution Spinoraptor, especially with the way it moves too. It's like, it's very jumpy. It'll jump on you. There was actually a point, at least in Carnivores HD, like the phone version, where um, they actually scaled it up to fit, um, you know, our size estimations of Spinosaurus, but because the proportions were for a smaller animal, it just didn't look right. But it was still cool that they did that. They eventually went back to the old design and kept it in their carnivore style, but, you know, it, but this is definitely a unique Spinosaurus and one that certainly does stand out in the list and is a classic one. So, you know, you can't go wrong there. This one is a two-in-one. We have the Isle Spinosaurus. Now, the default Spinosaurus from Isle Legacy, I, I always thought looked really cool. I really like how the sail goes all the way down to its tail. Um, I, that just gives it a very cool silhouette to me. And the basic shape of the Spinosaurus looks really good too. Complete with, of course, a skull that looks like a Spinosaurus skull. I think the Isle usually does kill it with their dinosaur designs. They definitely kill it with their dinosaur animations. Um, but I mentioned that this is a two-in-one because that includes the Hypospino, which, are, you know, there's a lot of 
lore to the island. And one of those is like the mystery of the hypo dinosaurs. Like there's the hypo rex, hypo, the hypo giga, and the hypo spino. It's very rugged in appearance. It has a lot of bumps to it. It has that basic spinosaurus snout again, as well as having a jaw that kind of splits, like the lower jaw splits. And it's, it's very unique. Add that to the list of uh, Spinosaurus designs that definitely stand out. And finally, and this is one that I play a lot, there is the Path of Titans Spinosaurus. Now if you play Path of Titans, you probably already know that there's different subspecies essentially to uh, these dinosaurs, so you get to kind of change up the designs if you want. And so the designs do vary a little bit. There's the basic kind of design that has the regular theropod tail with a notch in the sail. Um, it looks very good as a Spinosaurus. Like honestly, Path of Titans usually does have very good designs. Um, there's also some designs that, funnily enough, actually have the kind of paddle-like tail. Um, this was before the paddle tail was discovered in Spinosaurus, so it's kind of like a, a little happy coincidence. Um, of course, it's pretty different from our idea of what the paddle tail actually looked like on Spinosaurus, but it's still really cool that it's present on there and, you know, acted as a type of thing that helped the Spinosaurus stand out. Two of the models actually have this paddle tail, and they both kind of very uh, differ a little bit com uh, between the two of them, but they d they're definitely a very cool design. So that is three parts to the Spinosaurus video. I guarantee that I can make many more when it comes to Spinosaurus. Like this guy shows up way more in media than I ever thought. And that's saying something because Spinosaurus is my favorite dinosaur. I typically t keep up to things like that. Like when there's a dinosaur project announced, I usually sit there and hope that there's going to be a Spinosaurus in it. You don't know how long I was waiting for the Spinosaurus to show up in Camp Cretaceous. But all around, it's it's cool that it showed up so much and that its design kind of varies a little bit in between uh, because you get a lot of cool variation and a lot of, like, it's really interesting to see a lot of these different people's takes on it, especially in the fictional media. It's a little bit harder with the, you know, the educational media because it's meant to be educational, but it's also tricky with Spinosaurus because we find more about it all the time and it changes quite a bit. And honestly, this type of series is really fun to do. I might wrap it up with Spinosaurus for now, but I could potentially go into other dinosaurs um, or prehistoric animals in general and kind of take a look at them and uh, see how their appearances differ in between media media projects. If that's something that you guys would like to see, then you know, be sure to let me know. And you know, you can actually request which dinosaur or prehistoric creature you'd like to see that done to. Because again, I'd like to continue this series. It's been really fun to do. That's pretty much all I have for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.